was nauseous or I thought I was nauseous a lot of the time. Yeah. Which you know, we know for metaphobes, they can feel ill a lot of the time. A lot of the time. Actually being ill. Yeah. Now I think I've searched um, a fear of being sick and then I found out it actually had a name. Mm. So I uh, found uh, or I searched for cures and then I came across the Thrive program. Yeah. And I remember reaching out to... I don't know who it was, and yes. it's really important because sometimes I have people ask me, you know, um, aren't you afraid that the anxiety or depression or whatever will come back? And I mm -hmm. say to them, you know, I'm not afraid that it come back because I know I created it and I feel very powerful and able to yes. manage my thinking and create happy, you know, lovely uh, emotions and feelings. So I'm not afraid of anything. Actually, you're not get constantly getting knocked down to have to pick yourself back up again. You're not spending your life getting yourself worked up, getting yourself into an anxious state to then have to calm yourself down. You have the tools not to get yourself into that anxious state in the first place. Yeah. And therefore life feels free and liberating and easy most of the time. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. The most important thing that we touched on today is, you know, get yourself to, to the point where you're thriving. Yes. Um, really work hard on that, you know, forget about your, I mean, it's important to focus on your metaphobia or the mental health symptoms a little bit, but focus on getting yourself thriving because that's yes. the easiest way to create great mental health and to yes. feel powerful and relax in all areas of your life, not just when you're yes. dealing with being sick or dealing with anxiety or whatever. So that's the most important thing for me to uh, kind of get across at this point.